Hey y'all, so today I wanted to show you how I made these super trendy bandana shorts from scratch, like from scratch, scratch, y'all. Like, we ain't playing no games, okay? Like, period. <laughs> um, but no, they're like everywhere and everybody's wearing them. So I just wanted to show you how to make your very own. So we're gonna jump right into it. So first, I'm just gonna be starting off with some scrap bandanas that I had left over from other projects. Some of them are like already cut up, but I mean, it's fine. I can still work with it. And you're gonna need a ruler and some scissors or either your rotary cutter and your cutting mat. So I'm just now picking out the color scheme that I wanted to go for for these shorts. Um, I was trying to use all of them, but some of those colors were like too dark. So I was just like, mm, no. Nah. But this is what I'm working with. And I didn't have a lot. I had maybe like, not a lot. <laughs> um, but what you wanna start off by doing is taking like the full ones, if you have full ones, just taking and putting them on top of each other. You could probably stack like three to four in one and cut it through before it's like too thick to cut. But like I would like stack maybe three to four and you just wanna fold them up into squares. So, you know, fold it once, fold it twice. I think that's how they do it, yeah. Fold it over once and then fold it twice. And then you just wanna cut out the squares to your liking. Like I didn't follow any kind of like rolls or anything I honestly just was cutting I would probably say my squares were about four inches by four inches some of them were like four inches by like six inches like honestly y'all I was just cutting but I will say to make it easier on yourself I would probably try and keep my squares as close as possible to size just so you know when it's time to like sew them together it's a lot easier to sew them together so the fabric got bunched up there, so it kind of cut a little piece off, but that's cool. But yeah, I mean, I tried to keep them as close as possible to size, but you know, after a while, y'all, I just kind of just started cutting, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, we're just gonna cut up our squares and um, move on to the next step. Okay, so moving on to the next step, as you can see here, I would definitely recommend you maybe like placing out the pieces of your bandanas just to kind of see what you're working with and see where you're going. And at that point, you literally can just serge them together as you can see me doing here, or you can either stitch them together with a straight stitch and just cut off the excess and do it that way. But yeah, I'm literally, that's all I'm doing y'all. Like I'm literally just like serging them together. So yeah, however you decide to sew them together, I would recommend when you're sewing them together, I, this just seemed like it made more sense and it made it easier to me. Like when I was pre-placing them out just to kind of see like how I wanted to place them color wise and everything, like I was moving down like the grids of the um, bandana squares and then I would sew them together. Alrighty, so this is how we're looking when we're all sewn and ready to go. As you can see, some of my squares are different shapes. And like I said, it made it a little bit more tedious, but it came out really cute. <laughs> but to make it easier on yourself, I'll probably try and keep them the same size. But that's what we're working with. And it was 33 inches by 48. So it was almost the size of my cutting mat. And it was just enough fabric for me. So I would probably say when you're stitching them together, 
kind of gauge, you know, like with your shorts that you're going to be using, like how much you're going to need. But that was enough for me. And then moving on to cutting out my pieces. As you can see here, I'm just cutting out my front and my back of my shorts. I'm using athletic shorts um, on fold with my bandana fabric and um, I'm leaving half an inch of seam allowance. Actually, I ended up leaving an inch of seam allowance around y'all just because I was kind of scared because, you know, these bandanas, they don't have any stretch. And I was like, mm, like I'm curvy. I don't know how it's going to work, but <laughs> it worked out. It, it worked out really well. And then lastly, I'm just taking some scrap fabric and I'm just creating the waistband. Okay, so the width for the waistband is two inches. And then to get the length of your waistband, you wanna measure the front and the back of your shorts, the waist of your shorts, and times that by two, and that'll give you a measurement for your waistband. And your waistband is gonna be larger than your natural waist. And that's good because we're gonna use elastic and you wanna make sure that like, with this fabric having no stretch that you can get it over your thighs comfortably and not like have to like jump in them or anything or tug at them so yeah <laughs> moving on i am just lastly cutting out um a lining you don't have to line your shorts if you don't want to but i definitely recommend it because like these bandanas you know they're from the dollar store they're from like beauty supplies so like they're thin and i just felt like i don't know i just felt like i needed like extra fabric under it just because so it will feel like clothes like <laughs> you know what i'm saying like these bandanas are really thin and like cheap so i definitely recommend you to line it you know just take the front and the back piece and just like trace around it um but again it's not like mandatory or anything Okay, and then for all of our pieces, you should have um, two fronts, two backs of the main fabric, and two front and backs of the lining, and then a waistband. So first, we're going to start off, of course, by right sides together um, for the front and the back. You're just going to sew the butt seam and the crotch seam. And first, you know, I'm going to start off by serging it together, and then I go behind it with half an inch of seam allowance of a stitch, and that's it. Moving on next, we're going to go ahead and sew up our crotch. So I recommend that you um, align the front crotch seam and the butt seam like together. And then from there, you just stitch it together just to make sure that, that that's aligned when you're sewing for one. And for two, just to make sure like the inseam of the front and the back of your shorts match. I don't know, like for me, it didn't like it was just a little off, but it, and it probably had to do with like, you know, it having so many stitches on this fabric, but Either way, if that happens to you, you can just trim off the excess. And we're literally just going to, of course, stitch it together with a straight stitch, a half of an inch of seam allowance, and then also finish off the raw edge with a zigzag stitch or a serge. Next, we're going to go ahead and hem the bottom of the shorts. I do this while the legs are detached just so it's easier. 
um so you're literally same thing y'all like it's it i'm telling y'all it took like 30 minutes if that to sew this versus cutting out all those pieces like them pieces was hell like dead ass but we got through it <laughs> but you're literally just going to same thing just search the serge or either zigzag stitch the raw edge and then just turn it up and stitch it at half an inch of seam allowance so we're just finishing off some raw edges here <laughs> Alrighty, and this is how it's looking so very nice and professional and sleek that's what i aim to you know showcase and teach you guys just to you know even though you're doing diy videos make it nice neat and professional especially if you're selling this stuff y'all like you really gotta like represent you know for yourself <laughs> so um yeah now we're just going to sew the side seams together same thing stitch it at half an inch of seam allowance and then go behind it and zigzag or either surge the raw edge okay so then for the lining you're literally going to repeat those same steps as you did for the main fabric shorts and we're going to go ahead and move on to the waistband so you want to stitch your waistband together at half an inch of seam allowance and then moving on from there you're going to make sure that your main fabric shorts are in right sides out and you're going to place the lining wrong side out inside the main fabric shorts right and you want to align the crotch seams so the front and then the back crotch seams and um, just pull it through and make sure that you know everything's lining up okay everything's good and then we're going to take our waistband wrong side out and we're going to align it around the main fabric of our shorts and you want to typically for me I line up the seam that I use to conjoin the waistband with the butt crotch seam I line those up and then I line up the side seams and then I line up the front just to make sure that the waistband is proportional and everything like, you know, lays good and there's no bunching or anything. But you're literally just gonna pin it around, place a few fins around it, and we're gonna stitch it down at half an inch of seam allowance, same thing y'all, and then finish off the raw edge.
all right so now we're moving on to the elastic so this is the elastic that i'm using is non-roll and it's an inch wide and i'm literally just going to take out enough for my actual waist measurement and my waist measurement is 27 so i took out 27 inches honestly typically what i do i always take it take an inch off just to make sure it's nice and snug because they fit good but you know like i be wanting mine to be like snug snug so like it emphasizes my shape but you're literally just going to cut out the elastic according to your waistband and then you're going to serge it or either zigzag stitch it together and you want to go over it a few times just for extra security okay and then next we're just going to same thing we kind of just did with our waistband we're literally just going to put the elastic around um, our pants the waist of our pants right and then you're going to take your waistband you're going to fold it up to the co oh my gosh y'all <laughs> and then you're going to take your waistband and you're going to fold it up and you're going to align it with the pants and you're just going to pin it in place because we're literally going to stitch over the seam that we just created to attach the waistband to our pants as you can see me doing here and i found that it's like this way is easier when you're creating a waistband versus like making the waistband and then like leaving a hole and pulling the elastic through like i mean that way still works but this way was so much easier and it's like you don't have to like worry about like bunching or anything like it just works so much easier y'all like telling y'all you just be learning tricks and nicks as you just be going like i'm telling you <laughs> like because there are so many pins in the waistband at this point and you're you have elastic in there i recommend that you straight stitch it first and then go behind it and clean up the raw edge but i'm just going to stitch around as you can see me demonstrating here or illustrating here where i'm going to stitch all right y'all and our pants are practically done look at how nice and professional they look i i love like like a clean cut garment like oh and it just it just hits so much better when you know you made it like it's like girl like you did that like you really cut up like period <laughs> but lastly um this stuff is like optional but again it's just just to make it look more professional i'm just taking my lining and aligning it with the um side seams and the the side seams and the inseam of the main fabric shorts as you can see me doing here and i'm literally just going to stitch like just a small stitch to kind of pin those in place and you know make sure like the lining doesn't show through when you're wearing them but as you can also see i don't stitch it right on top of the main fabric i'm leaving like an inch to a fourth of an inch like from the hem of the main fabric just so like i said when you're wearing them you don't see the lining through the shorts but yeah y'all that is our last step and i can't wait for y'all to see these on me like oh girl they was just hitting like i walked out like who gonna check me i look good like period <laughs> no but i got so much compliments on these when i was out y'all like i felt like so good in these and it just it's it hits more when like people like notice your creations and in your head not in my head because i'd be seeing it like girl i made it like this all me here go my card like <laughs> but yeah moving on let's see how they look on y'all
okay guys so these is how my shorts turned out they are super 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 cute y'all as you can see like i love them and they were pretty easy for the most part like the only time consuming part was honestly just patching the bandanas together but everything else was standard as always like it's just like making a pair of shorts but yeah y'all this is how they look and is what they saying hold on what they saying oh they ain't saying nothing they ain't saying nothing okay period <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe bye guys